The Power of Parent Leadership. I'm Dina and I'm from Lynn, Kansas. Um, and my journey started with early Head Start when my daughter was three months old. Parent leadership occurs when parents actively, creatively, and resourcefully contribute to promoting and developing the well-being of their families and their communities. Examples of parent leadership include parents loving their children unconditionally, parents advocating for their children, parents becoming actively involved in school, child care, or other areas where their children spend time. As I moved through the program, I started to get more involved, and I started taking an active role on some of their boards, policy council, and then um, seven months ago, we had a meeting, and we were informed that my Head Start facility would be closing. And so we lost 14 kids, and my child was one of those kids that was to attend that school this year. So my battle with parent leadership and becoming a voice in the state of Kansas is really where it took off. Um, I was on the Parent Leadership Advisory Council for the state of Kansas, and I've made phone calls after phone calls after phone calls, and talked and talked and talked and talked, and um, I've been given the opportunity to have my voice heard among and share my story to other parents. Benefits of parent leadership include improving services for families, providing opportunities to affect meaningful change, providing opportunities to network with other families, modeling community involvement and empowerment. Dina discusses how parent leadership has benefited her family. It is set an example that it is okay to be involved. It is a setting an example for my child to understand that she does have a voice and that someday hopefully she can carry that into her high school years and her college years and her adult life after college that her voice is important and that it is okay to fight for something that you believe in and follow your dreams don't let anybody tell you that you're in the wrong you know I mean when something like your school shutting down yeah it's okay to take a stand and help protect your school. With me being a single parent and me being diagnosed with bipolar, I want my child to have the most upright, best education that she can possibly have. Because maybe sometimes at home, I'm not able to give those things to her because of the things that I went through as a child and I'm learning with her. It is important that I'm educating myself. If I'm not educating myself, I can't educate her. How can other parents become involved in parent leadership? You can take small little steps to be involved. Maybe that's just going into the school and helping serve lunch for the day. That's a type of leadership. It takes every little glitch to run. Some people might want to be behind the scenes at like a conference and just taking pictures for something or um, it never even hurts to lend a hug to somebody. I mean, I mean, every little aspect of it is just helping each other and being successful. And maybe that's just um, telling someone your story and that maybe they can share a little piece of it for you if you're not comfortable sharing your story. Or, you know, we all have our own success stories and it's not hard, it's not easy to talk about those hard things. Dina offers some final words of encouragement. It is okay to let your voice be heard. Everybody has a voice and it is okay. It may be a quiet little voice or a really loud voice. <laughs> it is okay to take a stand and let people know how you feel. Even if you might be in the wrong, at least you have voiced your opinion and everybody knows that maybe this is how she feels. Maybe we can try to work out an agreement with her so that we can fix the problem or come to a resolution or a solution of, well, maybe this isn't so wrong or something, you know. Everybody needs to work as a team, and if we're not voicing our problems and our concerns as parents, then nothing will get resumed or solved, and we just have upset parents because they didn't want to utilize their voice when it is our job to protect our children and our families and our friends, just not my child, but everybody's child, mm -hmm. and so it is important that we step up. We are proud of Dina and her accomplishments. She has been asked to travel to Washington, D.C. to testify before Congress about the sequestration cuts that have affected funding for Kansas Head Start programs. This video was produced by the Kansas Children's Service League. 
Kansas Children's Service League is the Kansas chapter of Prevent Child Abuse America. For more information about Kansas Children's Service League and the programs provided, please visit us through the following sources.